with a long and happy life together. So we're starting on the right foot. And we know that love is a gift from out of the stars and into your hearts from each of you to the other, from whom you are and who you become, become to the wider circle of family and friends who are your community. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered as friends and family of John and Fiona as they join their lives in marriage. We witness and celebrate as John and Fiona pledge themselves to one another and enter the legal state of matrimony. We are here not to mark the start of a relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. With this marriage, a new chapter begins for them and for their entire family. John and Fiona have asked their friend Michelle to now join us to read a poem. <coughs> To love is not to possess, by James Cavanaugh. To love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Love is to join and separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are, no longer clinging in childish dependency, nor docilely living separate lives in silence. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another and to one's inner self. Love only endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning gently or passionately, or moving lovingly like the tide in the moon's own predictable harmony. Because finally, despite a child's scars or an adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be who they really are and are always secretly worth in the very core of their being, where true and lasting love can alone abide. <coughs> John and Fiona, the two of you have come here today joyfully and responsibly to accept each other in marriage. Therefore, I will ask you to repeat after me, Jonathan, I solemnly declare, I solemnly, solemnly declare that I do not know I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Jonathan Paul, Jason Why I, Jonathan Paul, Jason Murray. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Fiona Lee Huntington. Fiona Lee Huntington. I call on those present to witness. For those present to witness. That I, John. I, John, take Fiona, take Fiona to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I solemnly declare that I do not know. I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Fiona Lee Hannington. Why I, Fiona Lee Hannington. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Jonathan Paul Beasley Murray. To Jonathan Paul Beasley Murray. I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, Fiona, that I, Fiona, take John, take John, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. symbolizes many things. 
It is the legal and public expression of the personal commitment that Fiona and John have made to one another. This is a day when old friends will have a chance to get together to reminisce. It is a day when new friendships will be formed, and today is the day the two families are joined. When we gather to celebrate on such a special occasion, the force of the commitment of the love and courage that we see before us reaches out and touches all of us. So our lives too are changed and we are able to share the part of their love. Each and every one of you here today, beloved parents, family members, children, <coughs> friends, you have all affected the lives of Fiona and John in your own way. They are honored and delighted to have all of you here today as they now celebrate their life together and their marriage. <coughs> the two of you, please remember that loving well is a challenge as we must learn to share our joy and sadness, our interest and understanding, our knowledge and friendship, but in this sharing, we always remember to preserve our integrity and our individuality. And now John and Fiona will this is the Book of Love. This is the Book of Love uh, by the Magnetic Field, but we're not going to sing. <laughs> the Book of Love is long and boring. No one can lift the damn thing. It's full of charts and facts and figures and instructions for dancing, but I love it when you read to me, and you can read me anything. The Book of Love has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. Some of it is just transcendental, some of it is just really dumb, but I love it when you sing to me, and you can sing me anything. The Book of Love is long and boring, and written very long ago. It's full of flowers and heart-shaped boxes and things we're all too young to know. But I love it when you give me things, and you ought to give me wedding rings. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you give me things, and you ought to give me wedding Thank <laughs> you. 